Hello you beautiful YouTube people, my name is Gold Gigo and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be making a brand new add-on and I thought it would be fun to take you along for the ride. So the add-on that I will be making is actually quite simple and it involves these tombstones. So basically when you die you will spawn a tombstone and all of your items will be placed inside of it so that you don't need to worry about like them despawning and it's just a bit more elegant than having all of your items lay all over the place. You can just come over and collect them from the tombstone. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into some coding. Okay, so as you can see, we're jumping straight into making the model. I'm basically trying to make like a mini grave, so you can see I'm making this like base and then I'll add the tombstone on top of that. Now, fortunately, I've actually made some add-ons in the past and what you'll see me do on some occasions is sometimes go back to some of those old add-ons and copy some files from there and paste them in the current add-on. That way I have like a cool template to work off of and it is just much easier to work with. And also if I'm lucky the chances of me messing something up will be a bit lower and it will speed the process along. Okay so let's quickly summon it in and we can see how it looks. So it's just summon true. Okay, does not exist apparently. Uh, Okay, hopefully that's fixed now. Uh, let's see, slash summon gg. Okay, okay, I think that might have fixed it. Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, so I'm just quickly throwing some colors onto the model here so that I know where what needs to go when I actually texture it. Now I'm using a separate program to make the texture and you'll see why in a second. But at the moment, I'm just cleaning up the texture and then I went onto Google to go find some reference pictures to work off of. So once that was done, I could get to painting. Now for this model, I wanted to use some of Minecraft's vanilla textures. And so with this drawing program, I can simply import them and just paste them where I want them, which you can't actually do inside of Blockbench, which is a modeling program that I used. I decided to go for Potzel for the grave part just because I really like how it looks and it's also a bit less plain than the dirt. I didn't really need to but you can see I actually used the side texture of the Potzel to make the side texture of my texture but yeah it really wasn't necessary since it's only one pixel high. It was now time to make the actual tombstone part. And you can see I started out making this rip sign but I couldn't actually center it onto the texture and so you'll see me change it out for something closer to the reference image later on. Now for the base I originally wanted to use andesite but then this blast furnace caught my eye as I was scrolling through the file explorer and I ended up using that instead. Okay, so let's see how this new texture looks. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah I, I really like this. I might need to do a bit more texturing around the back. But I think as it is at the moment, it is okay. I just think this back needs a bit more work. I might actually just see all the stone texture. like. Okay, so I ended up grabbing the andesite texture. So let's see how that looks. And yeah, 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 that looks... That looks a lot better than the, the other one was a bit plain but if you can see maybe um, I left the center kind of like less patented so that the kind of writing stands out a bit more but the backside definitely looks a lot less like plain or dull. Next it was time for some more coding. Making the grave actually spawn in when the player dies specifically. Now this will come back and haunt me for like an hour later on but we'll get there when we get there. The code for this was actually quite simple, or so I thought at least. All that I did was I queried if the player was alive or not, and if it wasn't alive, I would just run a normal summon command like you would in vanilla Minecraft, just slash summon and then the tombstone. 
Okay, so when I came back to the world, I saw that the tombstone was missing and I kind of started to stress, but it turns out, yeah, it just falls through the floor and I, yeah, I'm not sure exactly why I probably messed up a tag. Maybe I forgot the ass collision tag. So let's do that before we test if it actually spawns upon death. Or I guess we could actually test that too if we just do game mode. Ace and then we just do kill. Okay, yeah, it definitely spawned a bunch of um, tombstones, but it spawned in like a ton of them. So we need to tweak that also just a little bit. So let's... Fixing the rapid spawning was actually pretty simple. I just accidentally had some unnecessary pieces of code since I copied it from my World Fabricator add on. So it was just as simple as deleting those parts. Please tell me it works now. Uh, yeah, okay, nice. I think it actually worked since I only had one message saying dead. So, yeah, okay, I think there's only one. I guess we could do a test for. There's uh, one tube, and a bunch. Somewhere in here, there's a bunch of falling gravel. But, yeah, okay, that seemed to fix the problem. Making the tombstone act like a hopper was also pretty simple, or at least it should have been. Unfortunately, I messed it up the first few times, but I do get it working eventually. The main problem was actually me messing up what two different components do, and so I used one where I should have used the other, and the other way around. But I did get that working eventually. Okay, nice. It does actually pick up items now. Okay, that's great. It still says Vex though. Uh, oh yeah, but this is an old, um, what do you call it, an old, an old entity. So let's quickly do uh, slash game mode S and then do kill. And now this new one should actually say container instead of doing like uh, Vex, like you saw, it, it's displayed as Vex. It should no longer do that because I changed the name when I summoned. You might have noticed that. Where on earth did I die? <laughs> okay, so this is the new one and it still says Vex. Okay, so I can't change that. I might actually just change it to like chest or something, the, the runtime identifier. I don't know. Because if I do summon, uh, what if I summon GG Tombstone and just call it yes or something? Yeah, it doesn't rename it. That that's kind of sad. I'm so not sure why I can't punch it though. That's probably just a small thing that I need to change. But yeah, okay. So basically all that I need to do now is to make it so that when you die all of your items will get moved relatively close to the, um, this uh, tombstone so you can go and collect them from there. Now this final stretch was just one huge pain. I basically discovered that for some reason the tombstone would only spawn in on the first death and then never again after that. There was also the small problem where it didn't actually call the part of the code that's responsible for teleporting the items to the tombstone, but yeah, the fix for that was a lot easier than fixing the spawning problem. So that time it did spawn in. But when I do it a second time, for some reason it does not spawn it in again. I wonder why, why that is. Now I mess around trying to get it to work, but I just couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And honestly, I still have no idea why it wasn't working the way that I thought it would work. In the end, I do actually get it working through some serious workarounds, but yeah, that's like two hours of my life that I'm never getting back. It, 
I think it actually works. I think it actually finally <laughs> I've been I've been struggling for this for like extremely long. But now it would seem it's getting rid of some of my items. I have no idea why that is. But at least it now consistently consistently spawns a tombstone. I have no idea why before it didn't actually do it. Lastly, I just wanted to make it so that you can open the tombstones inventory since there seems to be some sort of bug that unfortunately I do not have control over. So I can't fix it, or at least I couldn't figure out how to fix it. Basically, when you kill the tombstone, it will sometimes get rid of some of your items, so I just made it so that you can grab your items directly from the tombstone's inventory. Now that I think about it, that could have probably been like a cool intentional feature of me quote unquote balancing the power of this tombstone since obviously I didn't want to just do like keep inventory on, so yeah. This bug is now a feature, classic developer there. Okay, so let's see. I, I didn't really change that much, so I think it should work. Yeah, it does work. There is our buttons, and it actually says tombstone at the top. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit different than from the stuff that I usually do. But if you want to get your hands on this add-on, you can go ahead and download it from any of the two links in the description. But yeah, if you did enjoy this, feel free to leave a like and to subscribe if you are new around here for more content like this. And I will see all of you again in the future with a brand new video. Cheers!